So my boys and girls, uh, wait, did I not say golden? Darn. Oh, whatever. You're all golden in my heart. Um, today we are going to be doing a Beyblade review on Dronzer V. This is, some, this is some people's least favorite Dronzer, but it is also the cheapest Dronzer you can buy. So if you are looking for a plastic bait just to screw around with, Dronzer V is your dude. Um, this is getting a re-release by... Takara Tomi in its anniversary, Bakuten Shoot 2002 anniversary set. So that's going to be pretty cool. So let's fully uh, disassemble this. There it is. This is one of the, this has actually one of the wackiest uh, mode changing gimmicks in Beyblade. This is also part of the MagnaCore system. So I will definitely do a test spin since it does have like a mode change in a way. Um, let's talk about the spin gear. Let's just so a South Magnacore. So yeah, that's pretty special, and it's on the right spin gear. So just so we can not go over that. So first we have is our I think this is called try uh, not try a cross Dronzer. Um, so four points, like a cross. Uh, they're actually definitely built for upper attack on how they are sloped. Um, on plastic bays, I don't really normally do this, but I should, you should always pay attention to the actual slopes on the bays. But if it's if it's noticeable, then you should bring it up. Uh, this really doesn't help since Dronzer, then since cross Dronzer is going to be on such a high uh, blade base. But it's still very. It still seems like it's just a right spin dragoon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not wrong. Uh, I like all the plastic bays you'll probably see me get. These are all used. None of them were new in box. Uh, next, you have your. Let's do the bit chip first. Actually, I forgot to do the bit chip. There's your Dronzer. There's your little bird. All right. You have ten balance, so it's balanced all throughout the bay. This weight disc does seem like it was either painted or I'm trying to look at it. It looks like it was painted because. There's like some paint bubbles on there. I don't know if this is painted. Let me know if this you think this is painted and if you have uh, noticed this is painted. But um, this is not what it came with. I don't know if this is the right way to it even came with, but we're gonna find out. Uh, next up, you have the blade base, which I think is a drawn is a custom base. Yeah, drawns are custom base or something. Nothing too special, but um, it's really only custom with one thing, which is MagnaCore. So let's just kind of talk about this. So this bay is kind of weird. These videos are so short, they're gonna upload so fast, and I'm so grateful. Um, I'm gonna assemble this. I know I'm not talking about it, because that's part of the blade base. Um, I would take my MagnaCore, and I would add in my Dronzer. Does it actually spin on that? Does that MagnaCore actually draw out a tiny bit? It does, that's kind of neat. But um, what the whole gimmick of this bay is, you can see that this side has a sharp tip, while this side has a flat tip. So what I can do is I can put it inside the MagnaCore, and now it's sharp, and I take that out, and I flip it. And now it's flat. So yeah, really allows you to change up your pay, play, kind of similar to the change base. Most Dronzers have had one way or another of a mode change, uh, except for the Gs, because they can't really change the modes. But we're going to do a test with the spring launchers. This is kind of like Dronzers launchers. So this, this is what I do believe is in flat mode. So yeah, it doesn't really move around as much as you would like. I would like it to, but um, it, does, it does its best. Let's try it again. It does kind of move around, it's just it's not the fastest Beyblade in the world, so don't expect anything too big. Um, next let's change it into its stem, its endurance mode, which is sharp. So you can see it kind of chilled out in the center. Alright, let's give it a go. Seaborg. Seaborg's just way too powerful. Yeah, well, whatever. <laughs> you did your best. But yeah, otherwise, um, if you're collecting the V series, which I think is actually the easiest series to fully collect, um, Gaia Dragoon being the biggest issue, 
Uh, definitely would recommend picking up this bay. As I said, it is the cheapest Dronzer. So, yeah. Very cool. Very, very cool. So, yeah, anyway, Drons Crush Dronzer. I also never actually got to talk about why people actually buy this Beyblade. It is actually for another reason altogether. It's not the stamina mode. It's not anything. It's actually the LAD on this Beyblade. Now... Of course, it is definitely outclassed by Circle Survivor or whatever Desert Sphinxers was called. I think it was also on slow release. But, um, yeah. Uh, this Beyblade definitely, um, has a decent LED function. Because if you, I'm gonna move the camera down, and if you actually look closely, it starts to kind of move on this plate. Yeah. So, pretty cool LED function. Also, yeah, and Lego sets back there. Um, small ones, stuff I can keep on my desk. Uh, but yeah, that was my review on Dronzer V. So, um, Dronzer V2 will be coming in the future. You just gotta stay tuned for a lot of stuff, because I'm still buying lots with some boys. Um, I just want to collect enough plastic base to keep me enticed for my life. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Have an awesome day, stay safe, stay cool, and... Beyblade? That wasn't even a snap. Hang on. Beyblade. Yeah.